my God, this game is garbage. So this is now the third time that I've played the Fallout 76 beta. Uh, well, actually, it's the second time, but I'll go into more details on that later. And I put hours into the beta at this point, and uh, I just can't like I can't get this game, dude. I, I I just cannot, for the life of me, every single time I like really try to get in here and have a good time, I I, I just can't. And you know I'm I'm a huge Fallout fan. I, I'd like to start off by just explaining my history with this franchise, right? I got into this series with Fallout Three, so yes, not nah, I wasn't one of the original Fallout people, but I did get into series with Fallout Three, and when that game released, it was one of my favorite games of that year. I want to say it's probably was my game of the year overall, because um, that was 2008. But on top of that. Um, it's remained one of my favorite games of all time. It's just a fantastic video game, has an amazing world, amazing graphics, and amazing gameplay at the time, right? And so, uh, you know, I, I also played Fallout New Vegas, and I actually didn't like that one. I know that, that one's kind of polarizing, right? I was in the group of people who just didn't like that game. I also know that there's a group of people who think that that game was better than Fallout 3. Um, but, you know, that's a game that I've, again, sunk tens of hours into and uh, got this close to beating but actually just gave up because I was just getting frustrated with the, the poor controls. I didn't find the world as interesting, and I just, I just didn't find the quality up to the original standards of Bethesda's masterpiece to Fallout 3. And then, you know, when Fallout 4 was announced, I was, like, so looking forward to it. I couldn't wait. I got the game. I did a full streamed playthrough of the game on my YouTube channel. You can go rewatch that if you want to. And I had an absolute blast playing it, but I did not think it was as good as Fallout 3. And so with Fallout 76 here being announced i was obviously very excited for it i was looking forward to the game and, you know and i wasn't like one of those naysayers who immediately when i heard the fact that the game was going to be an online focused fallout i wasn't like oh just get that away from me you know, i i like to give games a chance you know and i i i i understand bethesda's curiosity for wanting to try out this gameplay dynamic in a fallout universe and i have to admit that it kind of piqued my curiosity as well what would that be like to have a fallout game with other players inhabiting the world right so uh i played the beta first on the xbox one x i actually got into the stress test that was closed and i wanted to record footage and i couldn't unfortunately so i really want to get my thoughts uh, uh, way back when i played that stress test and then i actually bought for two bucks a fallout 76 pc beta code because i wanted to test out the game on the pc and i wanted to uh you know and see about the visual enhancements the visual, uh, the graphics and everything like that, 60 frames per second, fantastic. And I also played Fallout 4 on PC, so I, I, this is more like a, a, a curiosity thing for me because I really wanted to see how it would perform on my system. And I'll get into all this stuff later, right? But my point is that even across two different platforms, my Xbox One X running that game at 4K 30, and then the PC here running it at, unfortunately, 1440p max settings at 60, I, I, I just walked away feeling so disappointed with literally everything that I played. And, you know, it was so odd because I never had this feeling with Fallout. But in this game, it, it, it's just there's there's a lot of things about it that have unfortunately uh, just kind of killed the experience for me. And the thing is, is that the it, it's not only the quality, it's also the gameplay changes that they've made in order to uh uh have this game relate well to the online atmosphere so i want to talk about my list of things here all right let's start off with the quality of the game all right this is a glitch fest of a game now i know that bethesda is known for their glitchy games and a lot of people are you know give them shit for skyrim and all these games uh for the glitchiness and whatnot that those games had on release i've been at least fortunate enough to have played these games and uh you know put tons of hours into it and haven't really run into like any like a massive game breaking bugs that i can remember you know when i played fallout 4 on release i wasn't thinking to myself oh my god look at this glitch look at that glitch look at that glitch it it it, it just wasn't like it was every five seconds for me i was able to engross myself in the world glitches yes did happen 
but I really felt like they were not on the degree that this game's glitches were, right? Now, I want to start off by saying this. If anyone posts in the fucking comments that this is a beta and the game's not out yet, and when you get the game, it's going to be all be fixed, I want to let you know something, okay? This beta is confirmed by Bethesda to be the entire full game. This is the entire, like, I could literally, I, I, I don't even think the, the beta is open en for enough amount of time for you to be able to do this. But you can literally, you literally have all the story content, all the side missions, the entire world is just given to you. This is the entire game in the beta. And Bethesda's confirmed this, that the beta is the entire game. It's 50 gigabytes, the size of the fucking game, and you can literally play the entire game during this beta phase. And your progress in this beta is supposed to carry over with when the full game comes out all right so i don't want to hear in the comments about how this is a beta and they're going to fix all this stuff all right the game is out in like two or three weeks and this is kind of these glitches are kind of unacceptable at least at this phase the only thing that you could say is that we don't have a day one update here and then on top of that the only thing you can say in terms of performance is that nvidia didn't release their driver updates for this beta those are the only two things you can say all right but I'm just going to talk about my experiences, all right? So the first glitch I ran into is when I was running, uh, I was going down a mountain, right? And uh, I saw this cave, and I was kind of running along the path, and I started getting, like, rat poisoning. I'm like, what the hell is is this? Like, why am I getting rat poisoning? I'm looking around myself, and I'm just, it, it's just dirt on the ground. There's nothing in particular that, that would get me uh, uh, rat poisoning, but it's happening. And then all of a sudden, I, as I'm moving around, I start hearing this, like, type of noise of water. And I'm like, where the fuck is, like, what's, what's going on? And I, I, I stare straight down at the mud, and my character says, drink. And, and I'm saying to myself, okay. And I push A button, and he drinks water. He literally just bends down, and he does the animation for drinking water. But the game didn't spawn the water there's literally this entire like big pool of water right it's like a lake almost and the game didn't spawn the actual water in that lake however you're still getting rat poisoning so when you're walking along it it's like so odd it's like what the fuck is going on so so that was the first thing all right the second thing that I ran into is damn near inexcusable, and you can see it in some of the gameplay here. As the game, the game has the dynamic time of day, right? So as the sun is going down and it's starting to get dark outside, I notice that I'm getting these really intense God Ray effects, and I'm like, I'm, uh, I just think to myself, okay, maybe the sun's going down, I'm on the top of the hill, okay, it's just the atmosphere. And then I start realizing as I'm going up the hill that the god rays are coming through the mountain. And so I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's just lighting glitch. Okay, I'm still kind of going through. I'm just not, I, I, again, these are like kind of relatively small things that I can forgive. But I get to the top of the hill, right? And I see the sun. And then I see the god rays. And I said, there's something definitely wrong here because the actual light from the sun is stuck in place up on the sky. And as the sun is going down on the other side of the mountain and the moon's coming up, it's still bright as fuck outside because the god rays and the actual sun's lighting effects are stuck in place on the sky. I have never played a video game where the sun has glitched out and you have 24-7 daylight even during nighttime. I... I this is like unheard of, right? And again, this ruins the atmosphere because now I have God rays. It's 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 like literally like 2 a.m. and I have God rays from the sun in my game world. And again, you can see some of this in the gameplay, like it's captured. And 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 I'm just thinking to myself, like like w what's going on here? Like like how is this not fixed? This is like some basic world building stuff. This is engine, you know, stuff. You know, I, I just I just don't understand here. Right. So there's that. And then and then on top of this, and this was exclusive to the Xbox 360 or Xbox one version, excuse me, of the Fallout 76 stress test that I played. So I, I, I go up to this group of people 
um, people. They're they're you know the uh, they're 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 feral ghouls basically. So I I go up to this group of feral ghouls and I shoot these guys and I shoot them down. Then I go to the other, I, I go down the street a little bit and I start getting hit all around me. And I'm looking all around me, and my character's like grunting and, and moving around as if he's getting hit or like punched in the face. And there's no one around me. And I'm thinking to myself, what, what's going on? This makes no sense. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, about, I'm not kidding you, a group of six or seven feral ghouls just pop out of nowhere, just right in front of my screen. And they all start attacking me in place. Like, and all of a sudden, I, 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 I get killed because, again, they already do more than half damage to me, and I can't see them because the game decides to load them in about 10 or 15 seconds after the fact that they've been attacking me. So all of these things are just boiling up to to be a very unpleasant experience. And this isn't just simple, you know, things that, 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 that you know, you can excuse. These are gameplay atmosphere uh, issues that literally cripple the game experience, make the game near unplayable. All right. Now, I also want to talk about the issues with this game because of the, its online uh, atmosphere, its online nature. All right. So obviously, you know, with it being online, I expect there to be, oh, you guys have to find a server, there's longer load times. That's, you know, that's just to be expected. You know, even on the PC here where Fallout 4 loaded very quickly for indoor interior or interiors and, and exteriors whenever you would transition uh, in and out of them. Fallout 4 loaded very quickly for me on that, but in Fallout 76, it does take a little bit longer, and that's to be expected. You're playing online to have to load in all the assets and the different, you know, people who are in the building. It makes sense, right? Here's some things that affect gameplay. For one, all your bullets on your guns, whenever you shoot an enemy, they're delayed. They're delayed by maybe a second, right? And you can even see it when I'm attacking some of these people. I, I, I shoot the enemy, right? And all of a sudden, he bounces back about a second and a half later after the bullets hit him. And this happened a lot worse on the Xbox One X than the PC here. On my PC here, I have a wired connection using Cat7 cables. I have an internet connection well above 100 megabits per second. So there is no reason that I should be experiencing lag of any single kind. Um, and I know some people are going to say it's a stress test of the servers and, and, this, and this shit. But again... This is happening across two platforms for me. So if it happens across the Xbox One X, which I have running on Wi-Fi, unfortunately, because of the setup I have, I understand it was happening there. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. But on my PC, if it's still happening on there on a wired connection with top-of-the-line Cat7 cables, then yes, you know, there is definitely an issue here with the game servers and its online nature and that to me is also what's destroying this game all right another thing there's 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 more if you can believe it because of the change in uh, the change of having it being an online game there is no longer a pause button and i know this is kind of like you know basic stuff that happens in multiplayer games but you start to realize how dumb everything is with this game without the ability to pause what you're doing guess what you run out of ammo with your weapons you need to switch weapons you know what happens you stand there looking you stand there getting hit as you bring up your pit boy because the game doesn't pause like it normally would in fallout 4 where you can just oh i need to switch weapons bring up my pit boy and then you can select a weapon from your inventory guess what you do that you're still getting hit in the freaking face and so you're taking damage while trying to switch weapons and by the way the game has a hot key to the left um d-pad that basically allows you to switch back to your previously used weapon but again if that previously used weapon has no ammo and then the weapon you're currently using runs out of ammo that means that you have to go in your inventory to select a new weapon that does have damn uh, ammo and when you do that you stand there looking at your wrist your smartwatch like an asshole as you get constantly hit in the face and it, it just completely ruins everything because now you're taking unnecessary damage it's like you have to freaking heal yourself as you select a weapon and then if you want to sit here and fine-tune the stats and make sure you have the correct weapon you have no time to do that you literally have no time to do that you can try to run away from the enemy but the enemies are fast in this game and they will track you down but 
the only way to really uh to really get past that is just to take get hit in the face as they're selecting a new weapon just hope that you know you can hopefully select something quickly to replace the uh, your 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 guns that are out of ammo so that is frustrating in itself and that and, and the other thing as well that's that's in this game is completely pointless i don't even know why they bothered to put it in the game now i already mentioned that vats in fallout 4 was a little bit less useful because the gameplay the shooting mechanics in fallout 4 were so good that they actually made the game very playable just as a first person shooter and it's the same shooting mechanics here um again i you can still play this game like a typical fps and the guns behave very uh very well and everything just handles really nice from like an fps perspective right but that's where in the previous games it was always about oh you can slow down time then you can use headshots you might be wondering how that works in this game well it, it's basically an auto lock and i'm not kidding you when i say this you bring up that it auto locks to the enemy you're bringing it to but it's all in real time it doesn't slow down time right so they're literally coming after you um, the, these enemies as you have vats locked on them and all you do is you rapidly tap the fire button to hopefully do some damage to them and then that takes your AP away it literally does nothing vats does nothing you don't get some cool kill animation if you do it right it just does nothing it's completely pointless the whole vats system in this game is utterly pointless because uh because it's an online game and you can't freaking slow down time because that means every single time you slow down time it will have to slow down for every other player and everyone who sees you know or you can do kind of like what max Payne 3 did and say oh, okay well whenever uh someone's facing the person who's in slow motion it would also slow down their game but you know bethesda's not going to do that i'm sure that was a bitch to program on rockstar's part so you can see that I'm sitting here frustrated because everything I loved about Fallout has simply just, just gone away. It's like too many sacrifices in order to get this game to be an online game. And, you know, I was, you guys know me, you know, I like to give every single game a chance. I like, I will play multiplayer games. I will play single player games. I will play always online games, right? I like to be, uh, I like to be well versed within my, my uh, gaming landscape and, and what I like to play, right? This, I, I just like to give everything a chance. And I was really hoping that Fallout 76, because they did say you can play it single player. And by the way, yes, you can. You know, I, I pretty much ignored everybody I was running into um, when I was playing this beta. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much just play this game as single player. But like I said, it's almost not worth it because everything that you're used to in single player, right? The fact that you can use VATS and slow down time and do... Uh, do uh, cool kills that's just gone it, that's is pointless now um oh when you shoot an enemy they actually react to your bullets on time and they actually don't die delayed that's an issue now because it's a multiplayer game when you want to switch weapons or view your inventory it pauses the game so you don't get hit and you can easily make a tactical decision that is gone in this game you cannot everything is in real time you cannot pause the game anymore so it's like a bunch of these issues that are just piling up. And, and I just play, I, I, again, this is like the, this is really the, the, the second time I played this game, right? So the first time was on the Xbox One X. And I think the game looks good on that console. However, one big issue, you can tell that they really tried to uh, make some compromises to hit the native 4K resolution. And it does look really good on the Xbox One X in terms of a sharp presentation. The issue with the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro and, and just the console versions in general for this game is that they completely remove shadows from the interiors of the game. Every single time you're indoors, um, you will not have shadows at all. And the game just looks so like looks so shitty without shadows and the ambient occlusion doesn't do a really good job either i think they may have removed that in the interiors as well because without the shadows there's really no hint of any ambient occlusion and so you have all these things like compromises right to make the game just kind of look like shit on consoles and my guess is because it's an online game they had to make a little bit more performance compromises and it's just kind of frustrating i will say that the frame rate on the xbox one x was pretty consistent i didn't run into really any drops 
Um, but then again, you know, I, I, I was already really frustrated with the overall presentation of what I was playing anyway. So um, everything was just kind of making me angry. On the PC, you at least have better visuals. They do have this nice new effect, and I actually do really like this, and I hope they stick it around for other um, Bethesda games. A dynamic depth of field. So what this game does is when you're not focusing or when you're just focusing on, like, your, your close landscape, it will actually blur out the background of the game so uh, a lot of times you're like just free roaming the game right and you're just kind of walking across some woods and you notice if you kind of take a look on the trees far out in the distance it will actually blur those out in a really nice bokeh effect and it looks good it, it, it definitely is a nice pc exclusive feature because that feature wasn't available on the xbox one x version i played so it definitely looks good um, and I and I wish that they would keep it and it actually does help with the anti-aliasing which this game pretty much runs with an always on TAA um, Which is kind of frustrating because again, you could always turn off the anti-aliasing on uh, Fallout 4 But in this game, it's like required. They also got rid of SLI support. I know SLI is dead um, I just you know, I, I, I like games that can take advantage of my other 980 Ti um, but yeah, you know, while, while I'm talking here about graphics, let's also talk about performance. A 980 Ti can't run this game max settings at 1440p. That's just embarrassing. Uh, I'm sorry. With a game that looks like this, it, it, the fact that I can't even hit 1440p on my 980 Ti, and I know a lot of people want to say, it's a 980 Ti, it's kind of old. It's still a formidable graphics card, all right? It's still a powerful enough graphics card for 1440p gaming. And uh, the thing is, I actually tried running the game all on low to see if the game really is kind of bullshit with its performance. And it is. The only uh, I only gained about 5 or 10 frames per second when, when running on all low versus all high. So it's kind of bullshit, you know, that, 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 that's, that the, it's, it's done that way. But again, NVIDIA hasn't released, you know, drivers for this game. So uh, with that respect, I fully, I, I, I think that if I had the drivers for this game, I might have got a little bit more decent performance but again this is uh bethesda fallout 4 runs pretty decently now but on launch it was just terrible so yeah uh, gosh i i really wanted to sit here and be like you know what fallout 76 is interesting it's a great experiment um i don't think i'll like it more than the single player experience but you know what i'm gonna get i'm gonna get this game i'm gonna give it a chance i'm gonna play it and and uh just kind of play it as single player and see uh and kind of go on from there right so that's what i was hoping to say but overall the quality is terrible like more terrible than than all the other bethesda games i played right like the glitches are at a new level you could see the fucking sun up at night like this is uh, th th uh, i i just have no words for things like that you know um and then the changes to the online the changes to make it appeal for the online you know nature of of its uh of its type I just feel like the cost was too great. The fact that, you know, I have to sit there and get punched in the face repeatedly as I'm trying to go through my inventory and select my weapons is inexcusable. You know, the 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 uh the the fact that I can't use vats and you can't really and vats is completely pointless, it doesn't slow down, you don't get some cool kill animations, kind of takes away the whole purpose of vats and what makes Fallout 76 kind of special you know um but it it's just it's just the nature of the way uh, i guess the decisions they needed to make in order to get this game work with uh the online uh, community and unfortunately i just i just don't think I, I i think that as an experiment it's interesting but as a game it's heavily flawed and i i I, I, I'm not going to be getting this game. I, I just can't. The fact that I've put in, you know, hours into this game on two different consoles and I've walked away each and every time just feeling disgusted and just, it, it, again, it's taking away what you really love about Fallout and you have to make, you have to basically make uh, amends with those compromises in order to get the experience. I, I, I just can't do it. You know, it's unfortunate. I really wanted to like this game. I really wanted to kind of walk away and be like Fallout 76. You know, it's an online game, but hey, uh, it's still a great Fallout game. You can still jump in here and play it. And I just walked away saying to myself, this is just terrible. The changes suck. Um, the game's glitchy as fuck and the performance is absolutely 
unbearable at times. Again, the fact that I had to hit have drops to like the mid 40s at 1440p and then 60 frames per second smooth in some other spots is it's just like ugh, whatever, you know. And even the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro versions, no shadows indoors. The game looks like garbage. <laughs> it does. It looks. I think Fallout 4 um, made me made me a little bit more impressed than this game. I don't know. Anyway, so I, I, I guess I'll get your guys' take when you guys uh, write what you want in the comments. I know some people are going to be so angry with the fact that I didn't like this game. I'm, I'm sorry, you know. I am a Fallout fan, like like many of you, and uh, I do really enjoy the series. And I've enjoyed basically all the games in the series since the release of Fallout 3, except Fallout New Vegas. And now, you know, this game. Maybe, maybe that's what... Um, I, I guess that's kind of a fair comparison, although... Although not really, not really, because uh, Fallout New Vegas was a little bit more well put together. I just didn't really like the atmosphere and the story, and and the the world was also not that interesting to me. I just didn't like the whole Wild West theme. Um, but yeah, this this game just doesn't do it for me. All right, so I want to get my thoughts on the beta. Let me know if you guys played it. Um, I I uninstalled it from my PC. I'm just I'm just done at this point and uh, moving on. So yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Thank you all for watching.